saada tulla bussi peale. Ma vaatame, kuidas seda saab järgmise episoodis. Ciao! Meie filosofia on nagu rohkem kui jälgipalli. Aga ta lihtsalt nagu plahvatas kusagilt nagu. Jürgen Hen, I have so big respect. He is the best Estonian coach last 20 years. We are like disaster. We didn't care as fuck we speak about referee. Because of that you play on level of San Marino. Because of that you are in D-League. Why we play D-League? I cannot speak with uh, with the player. I cannot measure the player if I don't know his family, wife, girlfriend, kids. Uh, I must know everything about him, and then I can like measure him somehow. I can help him somehow. And this is like I, I want to, to come deeply in, in, in relation. I cannot work just like professional guy. Like I work, come on the job, go home, and I don't know nothing about the player. You know, I must know when player doesn't sleep, when kids is like uh, sick. I must to take care about this. Probably player also is not ready to train on maximum or to play on maximum. I must to know this kind of things, and I love to know. Ja kutsume kõige mängijad, kus oma peredega, lastega siia, et saame nendega tutu, tutvuda, rääkida, spordi teha ja üldse nagu üksteist tund nagu õpida, kuidas, nagu kes, kuidas käitub, nagu, kus käib tööl, palju lapsi on, kui vanad nad on. Et, et lõime sellest nagu atmosfääri, kus iga üks tunneb end väga mugavalt. Sellest üritus korraldame juba teist korda. Et algus sai eelmisel aastal, kuna meil oli väga palju uusi mängijad ja lahtsime luua sellest nagu keskkonda, kus kõik tunnevad end nagu ühes peres. Päele seda karikat, kui me kaotasime, juba nagu siis väle seda me tahtsime seda üritus teha, sest me tundsime, nagu, et meil on palju uud energiat nagu klubis ja meeskonnas, mida tuleb nagu kuidagi ühtlaks teha. Ja see sama episood, mis tuli välja kuulpeitsis, cool kus Marko räägib seda, et me oleme nagu, nagu kõik koos, aga ikkagi nagu hajus energia, et me tahame nagu seda kokku panna, siis me oleme jällegi tugevad. We are the most stronger team in this country, 20% stronger than anyone here. Just step by step, come here, come. Eelmine aasta see meil toimis, see aasta nagu jällegi pidime kuidagi nagu seda ehitama. Ja selline üritus nagu aitabki seda, nagu sest siin nagu reaalselt näha emotsioone, sa räägid teiste inimestega, sa nendega nagu jagad oma positiivsed energiad ja meil nagu sellised üritused väga meeldivad nagu, et siin nagu see on juba traditsioon, ütleme niimoodi, aga samas me teeme vahast, käeme koos, lõunatame või siis kiinos või, no sellised projektid meil on nagu väga olulised, kuna jällegi nagu meie filosoofia on nagu rohkem kui jälgpalt. Et naised ja lapsed, kui nad ka on nagu üks osa selles ürituses, see on väga oluline, sest just nagu nendega enamus aega nad veedavadki kodus. Nagu, et neil on omad probleemid kusagil kodudes, aga siin nagu me saame kõike lahendada. Siin me nagu saame luua seda ühtsus, nagu, mis, mis pärast nagu kandubki väljaku. Et kui vaadata nagu protsentuaalselt, siis väljakul me oleme koos võib olla 20% päevast, üle on 80 on kodus ja seal nagu need samad probleemid me tume, toome siia ja siin lahendame kõik koos, aga lahendame läbi positiivsus. Nagu. Meil ei ole mingit konflikte ega midagi. Nagu, et ma arvan, see on, see on ka üks osa sellest. I repeat all the time to my players, when you are home, try to be the best husband what you can be, or boyfriend, or father, or I don't know what you do. If you, make, if you want to go to with friends to drink, drink very good. <laughs> be, be good in this. When you train, be the best. Try to be the best in every segment of your life. If you are a good football player and bad husband, probably you will not be happy. You know? And this thing is very important for me. Et meil juba eelmine aasta oli siuke hästi suur nagu selline perekonna tunne, me rääkisime ka, et, et siis on tähtis, et kõik tuleks kokku ja saab midagi ilusat öelda üks naast näkku ja suhelda ja, ja mingeid uusi küsimusi küsida peale selle, et mis pressiga peale läheme mängus. 
selline üritus on kindlasti nagu väga, väga oluline meeskonnas ise kliima jaoks. Et kui sa iga päev oled nagu sellest tööklimas koos ja ütleme, naised ja lapsed elavad ka kodust või nagu tereka vahendusel, siis nagu tulla kõik kokku ja neid emotsioone jagada siin hetkes ja natuke muid asju teha kui trenni ja ütleme siin mängida jalkat, et, et see on jah, väga oluline. Meil täna on esimene puhke päev peale mängu, umme ka puhke päev. Et me vahest, nagu, noh, kui me teeme sellest üritus, et see on normaalne, et mõned mängijad tarbivad mõned alkoholsed jooke, aga see ei lähe kunagi üle piiri. Nagu, et nad ise teavad, nagu, et siin on pered, siin on lapsed, nad näevad selle käitumist, aga kui nad jõuvad üks-kaks selle, nagu, see, me ei ole selle vastu. Me arvame, et see on ka üks osa team buildingus nagu, ja see on normaalne. Et parem kui istuda kusagil nagu, saunas ja juua ennast täis, nagu pigem siin, nagu, et, et sa näitadki nagu, oma elu, eluviisi. Nagu. Keegi ei olla, ma ei juonud siin ainult mahla näiteks. Keegi ei voib olla, ma ei tea, klaas šampus, nagu, aga sellest piisab nagu. Üks osa on ütleme, treeningu planeerimine, üks osa on mängu taktika planeerimine, üks osa ka selles kõiges kultuurist on selliste ürituste planeerimine. Et jällegi meil on nagu see on psühholoogiline pool meeskonnas, mida me ka arvestame nagu kohe hoa ettevalmistuse. Et meil nagu on olemas nagu no, ütleme failid, Excel failid või Wordi failid, mis me nagu planeerime täpselt nagu millal ja mida me teeme ja need üritused on meil nagu no, üks kord nelja kuu jooksul nagu me proovame neid nagu siseneda nagu meie ja nagu rutiini, nagu, et see oleks nagu normaalne. Ja klubi on selle poolt, no, klubi näeb, et see toimib, et nad usaldavad meid. Ja ma, ma usun, et kõikides meeskondades peaks olema see nagu ABC. Et üks vassi saa nagu, valmistada ette treeningu, see on normaalne. Ja see sama üritus peaks olema täpselt sama moodi nagu normaalne. Kui sa tahad luua jällegi ühtsus, nagu. Et meie, kui toome tagasi meie filosoofia, et meie filosoofia on nagu see, et me oleme üks pere. Aga kui me tahame olla üks pere, siis me peame roh- rohkem koos viimida, rohkem sellist ürituse tekitada. Me ei räägi, et me me üks pere me tegutseme nagu üks pere ja seda näha ka väljakult tegelikult nagu kuidas üks teist eest nagu seistakse filosoofia ja väljakul on see, et me usaldame üks teist ja usaldus me saame kere nende üritustel, kus me räägime üks teistega ja kui me näiteks teeme mingit see sama nagu trummi pürinad, siis me usaldame üks teist nagu kõik mängivad ühe, ühe tempos nagu kui me mängime siin võrk palju, et me nagu üks teist toetame. Ja ma arvan nagu, et läbi seda ühtsus nagu me, meil see edu nagu saavutame. See on nagu läheks selles mõttes sõtta, et sa pead usaldama teist inimest ja sa tead, et, sa tead, et teine inimene on valmis no, selles mõttes sinu surema. Et, et, et lõppkokkuvõttes sport on ikkagi, ütleme, kandub nendele nagu primitiivsetele sellistele aspektidele ja alustele, et, et nii on. Everybody know that every fucking game for us is important. Doesn't matter if you play with Tartu, Barno, Flora, every every fucking game. And we cannot leave point with this type of thing. Okay guys? So all together. One, two, three! Yeah. Muidselt diagonaal, seal kuharev, klaaris otse. Vasjuki jala peale. Nüüd on kirskaristus alas. Sööt värava ette esimene on olemas. Esimene värav juba üheksandal minutil. Ja uus mees Artyom Šedri. Premium liiga tüvüüt ja Premium liiga see esimene värav. Mitrovic. ja pall Kirsile. Kirs võtab selle rinnaga omaks. Edasi pikale. Nüüd on Peglaris Vili löögi koht. Peglaris Vili lööb ja 2-0. 2-0 kahedeiskümnendal minutil. Olime nagu kogu aeg nagu mängus sees ja alates teises poolajas korraks nagu kaotasime nagu mängu rütmi ja tammekas sai natuke rohkem mängu sisse, aga peale punas kaarte ja jällegi oli kõik meie käes, võitsime 4-0 ja oleme, olime rahul esimese poolajaga, teisega mitte nii palju, aga tegelikult nagu lõpetasime ilusti mängu 0 taga ja oli väga positiivne tulemus. Pavedis, pavedis, pavedis. Guys, let's start from the basics, okay? Good duels, good info, and then let's develop during the game, okay? 90 minutes, boys, plus. Come on! One, two, three!
Paide vastu alati väga head mängud, tempokad, et Paidel on kiired mehed ülaval ja nendega tuleb alati maksimum panna välja, nagu teistegi vastu. Aga sinna läksime võidu järgi ja tegelikult nagu mäng oligi nagu meie kontrolli all. Paidega andsis meile võimaluse haalata kohe initsiatiivi ja läinud kõrgelt nüüd pressida. Ütleme, et palju võimalusi oli. Meie realiseerinud siis Paidel olid ka mõned võimalused, et oli selline nagu hea, hea derbi mäng. Guys, all good. Yes. Look, it's like a puzzle. Yeah, we yeah. started like a little bit shit, you know. We are growing, we are growing to the game, okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. Well. Now, now, now we are more comfortable to find Ryan and uh, Antonio. And from there we have many more solutions. What I miss a little bit, it's blood. It's energy. That you want, that you wish there. That I hear someone, that someone speak on the pitch. Something. It's every game. Put some critics to each other if you don't know to put some good things. Put some energy there. Lõpuks otsustas individuaalne kvaliteet, mis on Lilul olemas ja, ja Lilu näitas, milleks ta on võimeline. Tuli valjakule peale seda, et ta oli pingi peal, oli natukene vihane ja tõestas, et ta on põhi, põhi vend ja, ja tegi ära kõige. Nüüd Frank Liivak tõmbab äära lahti, Lilju tõuseb palliga, mööl läheb kontakti, aga Lilju suudab teha väikse mööda, oi! Ja Lilju on tõmbab sellest teha, on olemas jätta! Ja Kolepodi, mida olevaude ikkagi teeb viimasel minutil! Ja kolmanda korda võetakse see komm, tundub Paidel käest ära, nii nagu võttis ja Kalju, nii nagu võttis Flora ja nii võtab ära käest ka Levadia. Lantsis varava söödu, ja, aga see töö, mis ta tegi, et see oli uskumatu. Ja see, meil ongi nagu väga palju sellised mängijad meeskonnas, et, kes võivad üksinda otsustada mängi. Enne seda Liljuriga oli niimoodi, et ta, ta jäi üldse nagu sellest ka, kahe kümnes mängijatest eemal. Ta oli tribüünil meil. Et jällegi see on põhjendatud sellega, et on olnud viis välismaalas. See limiit nagu pidurdab ainult natukene meid. Ja Lilju võtsis seda, kui no, mitte kriitikad, vaid kui mingisugus nagu tõestamiskohta. Et ta tahtis näidata, et ta ei viitsi tribüünil istuda ja ta, ta on valmis nagu võitlema oma koha eest. Ja see, kuidas ta reageeris ja kui ta tuli pingi pealt ja otsustas mängu, see näitas meile väga hea signaale ja näitaski tema sisu ja näitaski seda, miks me tõime ta siia. Et meil ongi vaja nagu Levadia sellised nagu tugevaid isiksusi, kes on võimalik nagu mängija otsustada ja brilliantne soolo seal on. Üks null näitab ka mingi taset, et tagasul null, see juba nagu meestrilikus ja, ja olem, olime valmis lõpuni pingutama ja minnaks võib olla paide jõunud valmis see mäng ja, ja haarassime neid kolm punkte enda kätte. Ma võikid! Ma võikid! I started my career as a professional even in Belgium when I was 20 and then after that uh, I spent two years and a half in Belgium and after that uh, I went to to Kuwait it's an Arabic country and it did go very well to be honest I had some problems about money I didn't get paid and then I decided to move back to Europe and then uh, yeah I went to Cyprus Israel Malta Estonia and uh, Sweden, Finland, Peru last year, and now back in Estonia. So quite a few countries, different cultures, different type of football, but I try to enjoy and take the best of each one of these moments.
Uh, I came here in uh, 2017 after Malta. Uh, unfortunately, I had a problem there with my previous club and uh, with the documents and stuff like this. So I got the opportunity to come here through my agent. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't start playing straight away because of this problem with the Maltese club and I had to wait till summer. I remember my first game, it was the European game, qualified against the uh, Faroe Island team, not easy, you know, especially because it was the second leg over there, it's pressure, we, we, had, uh, we had to go through this uh, qualified and uh, thanks God it started well, I scored the goal and uh, after that everything is already history. It was just a great year. Everything was good, you know, we didn't lose one single match. It was a lot of moments that we were losing or drawing. And in the last seconds, in the last minutes, we, we got the goal because we were so strong mentally that we knew at some moment we were going to score. And uh, of course, in the end of the year, if you don't lose one single match, the only possible thing is to be champions, you know. And uh, I'm very happy that I could help with, uh, with that, you know. I scored 31 goals in 30 matches. For me, it was the best uh, year of my whole career. I have gratitude for Kalju. They opened the door for me in Estonia. They took me and they had the patience to wait for myself uh, to debut uh, after the, the problem I had. So I just carry the, the good moments and the, the good times I spent with the Kali shirt, you know. Of course, ne was never like just good moments, but uh, those things I just live in the past and uh, I try to, to just take the, the positive things with me. I do live here alone. Uh, my family is back in Brazil. I hope they can come to visit me during the year. But for a while I'm alone here. I have two sisters and my parents. Uh, and so we are planning to, to bring them here, if it's possible during the, the summertime, which for them is also better because of the weather condition. I have my, yeah, my bedroom actually okay. here. It's simple but comfy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try to be as organized as possible and uh, it's most of the time like this. Here, the kitchen, where I try to prepare my meal every day. And, uh, it's the bathroom. It's also it's a good bathroom, comfy. I have my, my stuff over there as well. And here is where I spend most of my time when I'm home, in the living room, where I try to, to relax, watch Netflix, football, most of the times. I have a basic and a simple life. I have everything what I need here, and uh, I try to make, it, to make myself as comfy and home as possible. Actually, one of the reasons I came back to Estonia is because of the the lifestyle. I really enjoy to, to be here, to live in Estonia, especially Tallinn, where I've been, uh, let's say, for the last five years since I arrived here. And uh, I really enjoy here. You know, it's quiet, it's not so big, but also not so small. I have everything in the old town. It's a beautiful country. You can also explore sometimes the different places that uh, Estonia provides us. And uh, I really enjoy to be here. I believe the quality of life that Estonia provides us foreigners, it's really good comparing to other countries where I've been. And also sometimes I like to, to read a little bit as well. This book is about investment. It's one of the things uh, I've learned with my daddy since I came to Europe. And uh, it's about, the name is from 1000 to 1 million. It's a famous investor in Brazil, and uh, I started to read it to get more in the, in the market of investment. It's something I learned before, and uh, I keep doing, uh, 
during the, the years I mean still playing football and of course I need to, to think about the life after football and uh, this is one of the things I want to follow. One of the things I think about is investment of course but uh, also I would like to start in the next couple of years probably uh, some courses for Asian career so whenever I'm done with football I can straight start this new uh, profession. Here, culture is that everyone, every time, you can drink cappuccino, no? But in Italy, it's cappuccino you drink maybe just in the morning with croissant for breakfast. But uh, all the rest of the day, just espresso, espresso, espresso. Now I try with uh, Rudy. It's a... Uh, uh, like every time drink cappuccino, cappuccino, I say, now you need to start to drink espresso. Stop with cappuccino, you are older now. So, yeah, I try to educate them. Yeah. And I call him cappuccino in the restroom every time. Because usually I give a surname for uh, everyone in the restroom. So he is cappuccino for me. By Ernest, uh, I call him Choco. He also called me Choco. I'm white chocolate, he's black chocolate. So. I have a uh, rose noop, I call him Robocop. Well, he can do everything, he's tough. So I call him Robocop. After, okay, Robert, I call uh, Kiki. Brent, uh, for me, is like Justin Bieber, no? So Justin, yeah. If you look at him, it seems like Justin Bieber a bit, no? Blonde uh, and uh, hot more. Livak, uh, I call him Fra, because also he, he, he play in Italy, so he understand Italian, so I call him like a brother. But yeah, I have a good relationship with him. He's, we are really near, no? Really close. Also with family, we meet sometime. So for me, he's a really good person, a good friend. So we talk almost every day. So we have a good relationship. So he's like my little brother. I need to teach for him something. I call him also like brother, a uh, little brother, but in Italian, fratellino. Okay, Mitrovic is a uh, machina. You see him, Mitrovic, a tough guy. Okay, Lilio is already Lilio. Also, Lilio speak a bit Italian. So sometimes when uh, we don't want even in the field that people understand us, we, we try to speak in Italian. No? I have a Gorfian, name is Marcia. We have a, a beautiful, crazy daughter, name is Aurora, two years old. But I hope this family will, uh, will be bigger soon. Here I can say it's like more, uh, more calm situation because in Italy, we rush a lot of no. You see people going everywhere, everywhere. It's moving every time. Here is a, is more calm, no. Of course, also is you live in capital here and uh, you have uh, all every day. I think you have something to do, especially with good weather. You can get a walk. Uh, there is a park, uh, so and everything is almost closed. No, not in Italy. You, for go everywhere, you need to take the car to go. Of course, maybe the problem is from uh, for the language, because uh, you know Estonia. I can speak maybe just three or four words, no? I have good memory with Kalju. I came in 2016. 2017, maybe we were in champion, but uh, I think uh, the, the most hard work we, we did in 2017 to win in 2018. And of course, 2018, I think for Kalju was an amazing year because uh, I think till now, I don't know if in Estonia, some team win without lose one game in championship. And so and what we done there, I think also, I think everybody appreciate this. For me, the most important was to win, no? And uh, we done this and uh, now I'm trying to do the same with Levadia maybe this year. I went away from Cagliu because uh, I don't know, was uh, something was broken there. You know, I, I don't know what, uh, what happened at this time, but uh, I think like my time there was uh, was finished, no. And you feel this when maybe not that you are not motivated, but you want some new challenge, no. And after I have opportunity, of course, to come back in my country, and uh, was good offer, and uh, soon I will be father in this year, so was like everything perfect. So it was the time to come back in Italy and uh, try to do something there. And uh, of course, after uh, happened this COVID stuff, and uh, Marco called me. And uh, he said that he, he was already interesting in me in January, but I didn't, I cannot left uh, the, the club in Italy because I had a contract. I said, okay, maybe in summer, if you will need again, uh, we, we can talk, no? 
And uh, after happened, like uh, we were discussing with this uh, Italian club that uh, we need to wait because for this COVID stuff, the budget went uh, down. So, so I took my time and this time Marco called me and said, yeah, we would like that you, you come here. Uh, and after I decided to come here. Of course, is uh, in the beginning, I think, okay, I was the captain of Nome Calio. I had a good year there and maybe arriving in Levadia was not good news for them. But also, I think that you need to understand your uh, your football career. No, people need to understand that I give a lot of for Calio, and also I need to think about myself now. And uh, I think in Levadia I found some some amazing club and uh, amazing people around, uh, especially Marco, that uh, is very good coach for me, and also team, very good team, like even like person. No, and uh, I feel very happy here in Levadia. Especially in football and in this uh, sport group, you need to have uh, like a good dressing room, a good people around, and this is what we have in Levadia. You know? And the same year when we win, uh, we won with Cali, was the same situation. Because uh, I think that year, of course, we win in in the field, but uh, we win outside of the field, like a group. We were always together, uh, we spent time together. So, and this is very important. Se non parli, vuoi dare gli amici del papà? Sì, ciao! Ugi was part of uh, of my return to Estonia in the first place. And when you arrive in the dress room and you know your best friend is there, it's it's a big thing, you know, you feel more comfortable. You, at least in the beginning, you can talk to him all the time until you get to know your teammates. And uh, we lived so many good memories in uh, in Calio, and I hope we have even more now in Levadia. So it was excellent that I found Max again in Levadia. When we separate, that uh, he, because he left Calio before than me, and of course for me it was uh, a bit upset because uh, I spent a lot of time with him. Also the first year that he came in Estonia we were living uh, three or four months together in the same apartment. And so we share uh, a lot of good moments, also bad moments because uh, he knows a lot of about my family, some of my problems, I know the same uh, like him. So of course for me he's a uh, really good, uh, good friend, I can call him like a brother. And uh, of course, when uh, I knew that he will come come back here, uh, I was really happy, no? Of course, uh, in my opinion, I believe it would be even better with more foreigners because uh, then you raise the level of the players, you raise the level of the local players as well, and you make uh, a stronger league. So I believe uh, this is some point that should be discussed. I saw it in Malta, before it was also five foreigners, and then they turn to eight foreigners in the league and Malta is doing much better as a whole uh, national team environment, as uh, the league itself. You see Maltese teams going to the second, third round of uh, Europa League, qualified conference league. So this must mean something, you know. But I believe uh, Estonia is in the right way. Uh, I see Levadia as a professional club even much more than some clubs where I've been at. And um, there's something good, you know, Levadia has everything here. They provide us everything that a player needs to, to improve themselves, to get the best of them. So this is something good, you know. And of course, uh, there is a lot to, to be changed and to improve in Estonia, but I believe with the right people and uh, some specific changes uh, Estonia can then grow up even more. Show emotions. This is together everyone show not only when we celebrate. And we have players who will decide the game by master quality. But before master quality everything we must do. Tackles together, supporting everything. Guys, we have quality we just must to show. Come on. <laughs> Come on, 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 I 
Ajiri ja Beglaris Vili pakkuvennast. Ajiri Kaistisjärve läidi vasta ja pailt penalti punkti pihale ja... Opa, opa, opa! Meerits peab esimest korda tõsiselt sekkuma. Opa, opa, opa! Seal joostakse kolme kesi mehel järgi, aga brasiilane tuleb, tuleb. Toetust väga ei ole, vaatab kas üks aaval. Kuidas sa kõneda praegu vaata, mis ta teeb? Juhu, läks vastu tema jalga. Ei, ei, ei. Tuleb kauskad vaiel ju vaata. Tilju on ise kõma rahulis. Okei, okei, võõs, 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 Dobro, dobro, Mitre, dobro, bravo, Vanni! Liilio saab minna, aga ja lipp jääb see kogu alla kesked, kohe ei tule tuge. Nüüd läheb roostub kaisti Liilio, tõmbab järgmelaidi, tõmbab peljus järgmelaidi. Liilio kastis ja teeb Marko Meerits tõrja. When he started the game, for me it was just one more game. I forgot uh, who was on the other side. I was fighting for, for my, my team, for my colors, which is Levadia. And uh, I was with the same uh, hungry to score the goals as I am in uh, every game. Marco, Erni, go, Erni, go, Erni! Kui nüüd Ajiril on võimalus minna, täiesti üksi saab minna ja Lili on kasti pool ka. Ajiri tõmbab platsi poole ja läheb pärava peale. Ajiri nükkab penalti punkti peale ja seal ei, ei ole Levadia meest. Näe sa nii reaal, näe ta prosta nii reaal! Dobro, dobro, dobro! Uh, this was the moment in the first half, inside the box. I was just five meters from the wall, ready to score. And I got this tackle from behind. And the ref decided to not whistle the penalty. It's, it's unbelievable because it happened over and over again. In five matches, I think it's the third penalty that uh, they don't whistle against me. And after they post a video analyzing the penalties, and then they say, yes, it was penalty, but then it's too late. In this type of game, uh, cannot be like this. They need to whistle what they see. I, I don't. I don't know yet uh, how far the referee was from from me, but uh, I think he was pretty close to see it. Ja Valne oli täiesti Orbiidil ja veel tuleb võimalus Kaljul ja mängitakse veel ja veel tuleb Tamm ja ikka ei tule! Ja on sees! On sees! Siiski oli! Omale! Omale! Kes see seal oli? Ja väga juhul omale, omale pandi. You can say that he's my uncle, but how to say? He's flick on the goalkeeper coming my shoulder, so I don't call this... Uh, I call this unlucky, I'm not call a on goal. Enne seda Karl Valner tegi kaks super save, et uge eksis sööduga. Karl Valner üks save, teine save ja siis jää õnnetult põrkes uudselt nagu väravasse. Mis on ta ise saab aru, et tegi natukene sealt no, rumalus selle sööduga, aga need asjad juhtuvad. A little bit more positive energy. I, I don't see positive. I see that you want, everyone, you want, okay? You're a little bit maybe tired. But this positive and positivity on the pitch, enjoy, play football. We don't play bad game. Come on. Come on, 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 come Ja Siri võtab uuesti üles ja jällegi viie kasti Joone peale ja palja Rehekku tuleb ja Rehekku tuleb ja Rehekku tuleb ja tuleb lõplikult. Ja kes see lööb? Uge lööb ise tagasi. Because even last year first game I score against Kalju, so this year the same. I hope to continue like this and score even against the other opponent. Ei saanud Vassiuk vihta ja... Ja Elki läheb nüüd ja saab... Ja põrvalt tuleb Paur ka ja Paur läheb pärava peale ja Ikka läheb Paur pärava peale ja Ikka läheb Paur ja siis tuleb Valner. Tuleb palju kasti ka. Meil tuleb kasti ja sealt... Oi, 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 oi! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Aide, Erri! Meie poolt väga hea mäng oli. 
Ütleme esimene pole aeg midagi sarnast paide kõrdu, et energiat ei olnud piisavad välja kõrdu. Aga teine pole aeg, kui ma arvan, et me etsime terve Eesti ja pole isegi Euroopa meeskondadele, et meid tuleb olata väga head jalgpalli. Nad ei saanudki oma poole pealt minema. Nii on mõned kontrollinnakud olid, aga üldiselt ma arvan, nagu me peame olema uhked, et me mängisime sellest teist poole aega. Aga kahjuks see täna ei suudnud realiseerida oma võimalusi ja see ei juhtub jalgpallis. We knew it was just about time to to get the goal. Unfortunately, their goalkeeper saved a couple of times as well. We need to to give the merit for them. Uh, but football is like that. Sometimes you you don't score uh, enough to to get the three points. Then we need to be satisfied with this uh, draw. Hey, let's go to France as well, eh? Hey, Kuki Mitre, good to see you. Alex, stop speaking with referee. You are 20 years old. Go back your cell. Uja, Uja, Uja. How is possible? No talking. Uja, Uja. Alex, you are 20 years old. He's talking like crazy. Didn't go how we won, but uh, at least uh, we we make one point, so to move uh, a bit the table, so it's okay. It's always better to make some point than uh, than lose. Хорошая игра, хорошим соперником. Да, я тренировался, был момент, что я приехал в Эстонию, тренировался с Леваде, но я поддерживал форму с ними. Я им благодарен, что они мне помогли, дали возможность. Ну, по сечению обстоятельств я вернулся в Калю и готов помогать Калю всеми силами. Uh, mistakes also, Max, don't worry, it's not problem. It's not problem, it's a mistake what we do. Just the way how we make mistakes, a little bit like it's not it's not uh, good, but okay. We can expect, guys, if, if you have uh, 1,000 passes this year, you must to make some, some mistakes. Just the way that we don't underrest, uh, like Brent last minute, like play simple, we will come in some situations. Game, like game, was good. We show energy, we show quality, we smash them second half. They make two chances because we, we uh, uh, give them the ball. All uh, rest second half was like just a question of time when, when we gonna score second goal or even third goal. Uh, was good, uh, uh, quick, now, please, please, trust me, quick, you have one time, switch off, don't think about football, nothing. Friday, you must to come, we have very, very important two games, Kuros and Narva, they are good team, they are strong team, we must to, we play on three, four game, uh, days, we must to be ready, mentally, we must to be ready. This is not bad result, and the end of the day, this is Debi, 1-1, one, one. we was better, rest, uh, good, watch game, drink beer today, don't think about football tomorrow. From Friday, we, we are ready for, for uh, next games. Come on, guys, come on. Let's continue the fucking road. Come on, guys, let's go. Look at this. It's not possible that never whistle penalty. And then after they make the program, oh, let's analyze if it was penalty or not. And then they say, yes, it was penalty. For what? This one, uh, okay. but, okay. Check us in the Tarmo, it's not normal that he like like turn and on on my question why you, i i swear to you i have this you can you can uh, hear my my voice when i i ask him why you didn't give foul he he think, and he turned to me and said to me why because this is like not uh, for uh, women this is for men's football it's a game for men's and laugh in my this fourth referee and laugh in my face hey with with this with this respect you speak with with head coach of one big team but with this respect and i didn't say nothing i didn't say fuck you fuck off why you did? i didn't shout to him i normal say to him but. come on Bretti, come on because of this that you want one club only one club and against any another clubs you want only one you because of that you play on level of san marino 
because of that you are in D-League, because you, have, you, you don't have anything in this country, only one club, and you do everything to push only one club. All, everyone, 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 referees, organization, football federation, president, everyone, everyone just put everything in one club and against another clubs. And you, you they hear question, why we play D-League? But, but because of that you play D-League. You will play uh, uh, last, even uh, lower than D-League if you continue to do like this. Who will normal come to work in this country? But if you have like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, these conditions here, about it. Only some Serbians. Okay, peasants. A <laughs> <laughs> couple of Portuguese guys. You can only find some Serbian bread. Right, right. It's true. It's sad, but it's true. Yeah. Analyze yourself. Watch the fucking videos and analyze yourself like like we, we doing. Yeah. Same, same way the must be doing. You know what, uh, Milor Manjic, referee, he was analyzing, he said how he prepared for the game, what he do in half times. He had the guy who cuts him moments from first half and immediately sends it to his phone and, and half time to watch. And that, that's why he was the best referee in the world. But he had this just smile, ironically. Ah, I know. What this is analyzed. I, I used, I used to, you iron smile I used to, you were ironing, don't worry. I don't react and then that's also about it. Yeah, it's like too much, too much. But okay, like I said, uh, we play a very good game at the end of the day. So long term, that's, that's the most important thing. That we grow, that we are uh, better and better with every... It, uh, ironically, this was the first game we didn't want and we played for me the best game in the season. Come on guys, every point, every game for us is decisive game. Go there, take three, these three points. From everyone, from Ernie till uh, Koblenka, Zaka, together to take these three points with good energy there. If you be some difficulties together, make, uh, uh, find a uh, solution on the pitch. Together find solution, come on. All right guys, hey, first of all, be ready for fighting. They're big lads, they're strong lads. And handle the ball fast, okay? Don't rush with the ball, but handle it fast. Okay, boys, let's go. One, two, three! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's difficult game, it's uh, boost, okay? I keep focus. I cannot say to our defense, uh, keep focus, fight against Of course, they must work. You must keep focus without any mistake, man. But uh, And then, in front, you will do whatever you want. You cannot do whatever you want. You cannot play like this. Take responsibility, use some goals there. We deliver even enough, we deliver uh, enough goals to score the goal. Nyt uh, 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 on harkuttattu ja harkuttattu, te vai shuk tästä perävä piali ja nyt joustat se sisse ja nyt joustat se sisse. Good energy from first minute we go to take these three points for kill. This is uh, three points for championship title. This kind of games. Come on. Come on, come on boys. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Lenko nyt saab roostub parema tärpidi hoo üles ja roostub toob selle palli värava ette ka. Vashuk on siin, Vashuk on veel ja Vashuk ikka veel. Aga nüüd siit teises laines ja pall on võrgus! Ja pall on võrgus! Bravo guys, bravo guys! Bravo guys! Bravo guys! Bravo guys! Bravo guys! Guys, if you remember after this cup game, I say to you that we have a lot of energy, but we put this energy a little bit, we split everywhere. And after this, day by day, we are better and better. And try to put energy on this game, one group, try to collect energy on one place. Everyone, everyone, from Pasha till like last player, enjoying life, enjoying football and win the game. We come on first place after this game and we will stay there we, we, uh, till the end of the season. Come on, Max, come on, 20, come on. Come on, boys. 
I want to see confidence, okay? Trust your skills, trust your heart, trust your teammates. But it's imp important. Don't get too emotional by talking. Show. Show with your skills, show with your body, aggressivity. But, uh, right? Let's go, boys. Come on. One, two, three! Yeah, yeah. Vaata, vaata, pas sille ei tegelikult ära veel tuli. Nüüd mängitakse zooni sisse. Ja kurak sinja tuleb! Ja nii lihtsalt tuleb 9. minutil! Tino võimalus ja ei! Opa ja nõmme sõrmed vahel ilmselt. Kui nüüd alliku. Mitrovicilt ära, Vassilje veel on palju ruumi, see Njoff on paremal olemas. See Njoffile läheb, Valder on veel väravas ulees, kaks! Ja kaks! Guys, believe the referee, fuck, we are, we are like, like disaster, we didn't, didn't get a chance, fuck, we speak about referee, yeah, but fuck, all of them are coming down. The referee is guilty now because we are losing. Come on, guys. Come on, guys, let's pick what little bit picks. Give them in. Let's help each other. It's no problem in tactic. I, I cannot say you nothing about tactic. Nothing, nothing. We control, we are there, we have chances. They go two times in transition, free they make three chances after this, without any defense. We don't take the ball from them. We don't take him the ball from them. We, we are just there. You sleep, you are an autopilot. You are an autopilot there, it's obvious from the side. Try to wake up. Try to wake up inside you, Max, something. Try to wake up. Start to calculate how much balls you take from opponent, without any mistakes, I can help. Pick. Start to calculate how much balls you take from opponent second half. <coughs> Start to calculate. Give us crosses. Give us crosses. Be angry on me, but be angry on them. Be angry on yourself. We didn't play on our level this game. It was it was obvious uh, energetically. We was not ready for the game. Uh, mentally also. Uh, probably tactically also, and it was a bad game for us at the end of the day. It's not normal that we play with this uh, low energy and this low concentration. Uh, some players individually, but we like group, we look like uh, that we are not concentrated on our maximum level. But uh, I think that we are smart enough and professional enough that we will not make the same mistake. I respect all of you, and I respect all people. Even if I think that someone, it's not a uh, case here, if someone in my personal life is not a good person, I respect him. Even if I think that he's a bad person, I respect him. I respect all of you, but I don't respect people who start from something else I am good, but this is bad. I don't respect this kind of people. I respect this kind of people who will say, I play bad because I play bad. I must to do something. And not I play bad because uh, uh, this and this and this and call him, 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 everyone. Uh, uh, comment behind my back. Do you really think that I don't see these things? Do you really think? We have very, very tough period right now. Very tough, tough two games on artificial pitches every second day. It's not easy. Uh, now we must to show who we are. Now to collect our energy and to show who we are. Tomorrow already is training. We cannot be empty. We cannot be empty. Hey, do something. What you want? You want bonuses? I will speak about bonuses. You want? I don't know what you want. More uh, food, more recovery. Say what you want. I will give you. I will provide, club will provide you. We cannot be empty. We cannot, if we are empty, we are dead. We must to finish. We cannot wait Europe. Eh? To do something, you wait Europe. No. We put goals, championship title and Europe. Championship title is one number one. But if you are empty, okay. Then uh, let's go everywhere.
Maybe I cannot wake up you. If I cannot wake up you, I will see two, three weeks, okay? I will first go. It's not a problem for me. But I say you all, 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 uh, openly from the side, I am not empty, I want to win more than last year. More than last year. First of all, get your focus right. Remember, we are Levadia, we are not some village team. This one loss is gonna do nothing to us. And second team, guys, we are we are family. I wanna see positive interactions for everyone, on the pitch, without the pitch, whatever. Keep the smile and let's fucking fight for the three points, okay? Come on, boys, let's go. One, two, three! Yeah, yeah. Come on! Yeah. Last game against Levadio, we lost 1-0. Levadio players do a block on the corner, the other player comes, scores. Lärsvili Nurgalöök, Kõrge Kaarega ja Peets on ja 1-0. Kui vaadata tervikuna nagu seda blokkisüsteemi nagu, et kui me näeme, kuidas Flora blokeerib meie väravahti kahe mängijaga ja kuidas blokeerib meid Narva, seal nad lihtsalt rippuvad meie peale, siis minu silmal seal ei olnud mingisugust nagu ülemäärem või sellest blokki, kus te ei saa välja tulla. Lihtsalt kaks meest seisid ja tammega mehed ei saanud sealt nagu välja tulla nagu. Ja ma ei näe seal ühtegi nagu rikkumist. See oli täpselt treenitud kombinatsioon, mis kandis oma vilja ja lõima oma ära. Guys, well done, three points in this tough shadow. It's not easy. We speak a lot with reference. Lilu, me first. Not you. I start. And our bench. We must to, we must to be smart. I, I speak uh, first to me and then to you. They will kill us, and they start to kill us. We must be smart. Just play, just play, play and play. This thing, uh, we start to speak against Flora, and they play like concentrate, concentrate. We lose little bit concentration. Maybe we don't lose about this, but why to give to them? No, just play, just play. Be like Bodja today. He didn't react at all. Come on, Bodja. Don't Always. care. Don't care. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Okay, well done, boys. We keep going from here. Well done. Oleme siin mussis. Väidle sõiduks. Ja me näeme siis üks looduslik Frank. Ei taha ta tulla bussi pööra. Vaatame, kuidas seda saab järgmis episoodis. See kord nagu kiiresti avanesime mängu ja kõik, mis ei läinud teistes mängudes sisse, siin lendas kõik ja isegi võis nagu rohkemat lennata, nagu et vaadata neid võimalusi, mis meil oli, et see mäng võis lõpada 10-0. Võrrelda eelmise hooajaga ja kus me praegu oleme, siis see on nagu öö ja päev, nagu see väravate vahe. Et eelmine hooajag seal hetkel meil oli võibolla 12 sisse lastud väravad, et see hooajag me näitame täiesti teissugust taset, et jah, ainult Flora lõi meile kaks tükki nagu mänguga. Ja aga üldiselt nagu kuidas vaadata nagu meie mängu kõrvalt, sest see on väga selline nagu täis kasvanud nagu, et meil on nagu taga kindlasti nagu null. Me oleme nagu selle, selle poolega nagu rahul. Ja minus viis punkti nagu et Flora praegu eelis, aga jällegi pikk hooaeg ja see mängu pilt, mis me näitame, ma arvan kuuendal minutil. Oma kaks esimest vahetust Ilian Toonu ja Frank Liivaks sekkuvad. Viimastel sekundil enne kui mängijad pidid juba välja kule astuma, muutsime oma meelt, nagu, kes, kes, kes peaks nagu, vahetuse sekkuma. Selle hetkel ei jõudnud reageerida ja siis Marko tahtis nagu, peatada seda vahetust. Ta läks nagu natukene emotsionaalselt, nagu et ta hakkas nagu karjuma ja aino tammus nagu sel hetkel nagu noh ei kontrollinud seda olukorda ka lõpuni nagu ei teadnud nagu mis teha ta oli nagu frustratsioonis ka ja siis nende vahel tekis mini konflikt ütleme nimodi et võib-olla see olukord läks natukene käest välja nagu et ei pidan mõlemat nii palju reageerima et teist moodi natukene oma vahel nagu suhtlema ja sellised asjad noh 
Nad on ebameldivad, aga nad juhtuvad ja me peame reageerima vastu. Oma vahel me klaaresime kõige ära. Meil on lihtsalt võib olla rollid natuke teistmoodi nüüd jagatud. Et selline olukord nagu, ei tohi juhtuda ja ma arvan, nagu mõlemad osapooled saavad sellest aru ja lihtsalt nagu edaspidi see on üks, ütleme, üks õpetund nagu kõigele, kuidas käituda sellesse situatsioonis. Aga ma arvan, see oli kõik nagu seotud ka sellega, nagu, kuidas kulges see meie nagu, kuu. Et liiga palju mänge ei ole sul astumiseks palju aega, just mentaalsed, emotsionaalsed ja see nagu kõik stress nagu ta tuleb ja tuleb nagu lumepall ja see lõpp mäng tegelikult kõik on nagu korras sul kontrolli all, aga ta lihtsalt nagu plahvatas kusagilt nagu. Ja me loodame, et lihtsalt tulevikus sellest nagu asju enam ei, ei toimi, kõik teevad oma järeldusi. Ja